Norway, a beautiful country with breathtaking landscapes. It is also a place that harbors some darker secrets. Norway is one of the world's largest exporters of farmed fish, an industry that is worth billions of euros to the country's economy. As much of the wild ocean large fish populations collapsed to near extinction, fishermen are turning to aquaculture as a way of growing fish in a controlled environment. Norway produces more farmed salmon and cod than any other country in the world. About 70% of the fish we eat today now comes from artificial fish farms. As thousands of fish are kept close together in very small sea cages, disease and lice spread easily and have become a massive problem for the industry. As a result, pesticides, disinfectants and antibiotics are used extensively to keep the fish alive long enough to go to market. In order to rid the fish of lice, special pumping boats are used which suck the fish up in a giant water vacuum. The fish are then pumped through the system, and as they flow through, they are either heated to a high temperature or bathed in a chemical solution which removes most of the lice before being pumped back into the cage. The fish are bathed in chemicals such as hydrogen peroxide and azimethophos to kill the parasites and diseases, and given feed with chemicals such as teflobenzeron, emamectin and diflubenzeron, which, by their very nature, are toxic. Researchers have found that traces of chemicals can end up in the fish, and ultimately on our plates. This is much the same for farmed fish all around the world. Taryn Bishop, an environmental activist, is meeting with the Green Warriors, a conservation organization based in Bergen, on the west coast of Norway. The Green Warriors have been investigating the devastating practices of fish farming on the local ecosystem for many years, and are taking Tarin to see the darker side of the farms that lies beneath the surface. A specially built submersible has enabled them to see the seabed below the cages. All along the ocean floor lies a thick layer of sludge made up of fish waste, bacteria and uneaten feed. The sludge is full of the pesticides added to the feed and new research has shown that the massive amounts of pesticide being added around the world to the marine ecosystem in fish farms is having a devastating effect on the natural ocean biodiversity. The sludge also releases large amounts of climate warming methane. Researchers at Oxford University have found that some types of aquaculture are now releasing more methane than beef production. Liv Holmfjord is the head of the Norwegian Directorate of Fisheries. Whilst in Norway, we were given information that not only is she in charge of regulating the country's fish farm industry, but also owns shares in one of Norway's largest fish farm companies. Many conservation groups feel this is a great conflict of interests. Holmfjord has agreed to meet Tarin to answer questions about the state of Norway's fish farms. Well, fish farming is quite a new industry in Norway. It started back in the 1960s with some local entrepreneurs starting with hobby, and it's grown until it's a billion euro industry today. And um, seafood is the second largest export industry in Norway and fish farming accounts for two-thirds of the export value of seafood. So recently, we found out that you also have shares in one of the largest fish farm companies in Norway. Do you not feel that that's a conflict of interest? Uh, of course, there could be a con uh, in conflict of interest, uh, but this is a fact that's been known since before I got this position and I've been open about it. I do not, I'm not involved in the business from day to day or at any, so it's, and if there's, um, we have, and um, I have 
So I have to, do you have to start over again? Kan jag hitta det för något då? So all the decisions that I made will either be for the whole industry, not especially for this fish farm, or it's only an advice to the politicians, and the politicians are setting the limits and the actual regulations. So if there's an actual case uh, handling regarding this company, then I will step